Welcome back everybody. So one of the biggest comments and questions that keeps coming up in these videos uh, is about this ICF stud in here. Um, some people thought I was just screwing into foam when I was attaching the gang box. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to just uh, tear into this thing and see what it looks like. So let me get this all set up and we'll just dismantle this block right here. Okay, hopefully this is a good view of this. Uh, and in case you haven't figured out, I love this foam cutter. Uh, I'll put out a video just about the foam cutter uh, at some point here, not too long. But uh, let's cut this little section off of this ICF. So get the foam cutter hot. It is so slick. You just dive it right in. Cut right through. Bam, just like that. Get over right here to the other side. go so that's just one little section of wall right there so I'm gonna raise the camera up just a little bit so you can see a little bit better all right so let's just cut along you can see it's in there I don't know half inch let's see if we can just cut a little section of this real quick gonna get the foam cutter hot There it is, right there. Go ahead and cut all this off. So what I'm doing is I'm just scoring right down along where this box blocks. So where you can kind of see it, hopefully you can see it there. Um, that's where all those studs are on these things. Uh, makes it really easy to find them. Um, Get this cut off. There you go. So that's what the what the stud looks like. There's kind of a I don't know if you can see the cross section of that. So you can see how far in that thing is um, and what it looks like. Matter of fact, I got my tape measure here. So you can see it's inch and a half and it's set in there try to get you guys something for a reference here it's set in there about five eighths almost three quarters of an inch so if you can see that now break this stuff off of the web so that's the internal web Right there so you can see this so you can see this is your plastic stud this is where your foam is at and then this is your internal web where you're stacking your rebar it's got a couple little uh, little pieces on here for the verticals that kind of help keep them straight um, that's what the web looks like on the inside 
So hopefully that answers some of your questions on this plastic stud and how I was attaching that box or how I was attaching that drywall. This plastic stud does have the same rating as a steel 2x4 um, for steel framing. So uh, plenty strong for hanging drywall, shelves, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to be hanging some TVs up at the property. I'll figure out, you know, if that'll hold a TV on the wall. Um, but hopefully this helps. Uh, like I said, leave a comment uh, if you've got questions. I'll get them answered for you. And uh, if this was helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really helps us out. So we'll catch you in the next video.